What up, YouTube? Case Must Prime here, back at you with the first episode of Horror Fest. Um, that's right, I'm finally getting started with it. Um, thought I'd go and start today, it seemed like a good night to do it. And I thought I'd start out a little light, you know, something not too big or too small. Something about medium. So today we'll be having a look at something I tried to get last year, but I could not find. So today we're going to be having a look at one of these. A Pez Glow-in-the-Dark Halloween Pez Dispenser. I actually picked this up in my local Publix. Um, which is kind of surprising because all my other Pez Dispensers have been purchased at um, Toys R Us. But um, I actually went to Publix earlier tonight after my, a dinner at Duffy's. I went to Publix to get a few uh, groceries and also maybe a box of Blueberry, which is really good. But unfortunately, all I had was Count Chocula. So I go over to the candy aisle to see what they got, and part of the seas, I found this. So packaging, as you can see, it's got has on top written or on uh, a penny background candy dispenser. Uh, there's a little thing that says glow in the dark dispensers, and this does actually glow in the dark. Uh, there you have your fr three flavors: uh, cherry, orange, and raspberry lemon, which is a brand new flavor. I'm definitely avoiding the orange flavor. <sighs> on the back is the same mumbo jumbo as before. How to load it, nutrition facts, clean dispenser before use, ages 30 and up, peanut, tree nut, and gluten fat. So if your name is Howard Wolowitz, you can't eat this stuff because there's peanuts. But with that said, let's get this thing opened up. And they did have a few other styles. They had um, another form of the pumpkin. They had a witch, a bat. Um, I think somewhere I saw Frankenstein. Um, I'll tell you the one that I couldn't make one of these of is the Headless Horseman, because, um, how do you make a Pez dispenser of someone with no head? Let's get the candy out. Alright. Consuela, that's for you. So anyway, here is the dispenser. Um, it's about the same size as another dispenser, like for example, here's my um, Iron Man Extremist Armor 1. So you can tell they're about the same size, but the Iron Man 1, not counting the stem, is slightly tall, bigger. Um, does have the jack-o'-lantern head with the stem on the top. Uh, yellow eyes to submit the candle flame, and of course there's the area where the thing comes out. You do extend that to load your candy. And this thing actually does glow in the dark. I had this thing in my room a few minutes ago when I had the lights off. and It actually does glow in the dark. I unfortunately though can't show that here on YouTube, but take my word for it, it does work. And of course you get your three flavors of candy. You get um, cherry, which is one of my favorites. The one I despise the most, orange. I cannot eat orange candy. And a newcomer, at least to me, Raspberry Lemon. I've had the raspberry and I've had the lemon flavor. Um, I know Review Spot can't eat anything with lemon because it's like a toss-up with pineapple because it tastes like soap to him. But I'm going to go for the gamble. I'm going to give this a try. And because this is a Halloween review, we're going to use the Halloween Pez Dispenser. So we'll just uh, get this candy opened up. And, um... If you guys follow me on Facebook, I will be shortly be changing my profile picture to what my costume is supposed to be. I'm not sure if I've revealed it yet anywhere on Facebook or here on YouTube. If I have, you should know what it is already. If don't, you're if not, you're gonna be in for a little bit of a surprise. All right, so let that open. Pull that out. Let's grab a few out of this stupid container. Some people try to do a trick where they can, like, pull it out of the wrapper and then drop it into the dispenser, like, in one swift move. But for some reason, I can't seem to do that. I can't do it to save my life. So let's get the rest of these out. Pop them in. And there we go. Let's click our shut. There we go. And with that said and done, we have a fully loaded pencil dispenser. 
And of course, as in the traditional pet standard, you flick the head back and out pops the candy. And as I said before, this is the raspberry, the lemon raspberry. Um, definitely smells more like raspberry than lemon. I'm definitely not getting any sort of a, a lemon scent from this. Um, come to think of it, the, the lemon ones almost had no flavor. But with that said, let's go ahead and give this a try. Hmm. I'll be honest. Tastes exactly like lemon. Like, tastes just exactly like the raspberry. It's like, there's no combination of the flavor. For those of you remember, when I got my Green Lantern one, it had strawberry vanilla. There was no flavor of vanilla in there. Wait, what? There was a little tang of lemon in this one, but not a lot. Not a lot of... It's mainly more of a raspberry, but... There's a taste of both, but... The raspberry seems to overpower the lemon. What the hell did I do with the wrapper? Yeah, raspberry is definitely the... The superior flavor. It's not bad, though. And also, I do like the dispenser. This is my third uh, seasonal pest dispenser. My other two I got at Christmas last year were a snowman and Santa Claus. So at least now I have one I can use for Halloween. Um, I got this for about $2 at my local uh, Publix. I'm pretty sure you can find it at any other store that sells candy at this time of year for Halloween. Um, anywhere between 2 and $3 shouldn't be too expensive. You can also get like a pack of ten with like four different flavors in it. Like grape, strawberry, cherry, lemon, orange. Or no no orange or lemon. That's not bad. So I guess that's about it. Later guys, I'm out of here.